hello what is up you guys thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video so obviously first things first i want to go ahead and mention thank you for even clicking on this video i hope you guys subscribe it would honestly mean the world to me i would love to get my channel up and running and be like you know your typical college student filming videos because i definitely enjoy filming those myself but obviously today i'm going to be filming a week in my life finals edition um, for quite some time I had planned that I wanted to have this filmed so that is exactly why I'm sitting here tonight and yeah you can probably tell it's night um, I actually do my homework at night I don't do pretty much any type of homework during the day because I do work in the day um, I work from home actually so I do start my homework past 10 and I'm up till 3 in the morning doing homework which is a terrible time slot but I am a night owl. I love doing homework at night, especially because everyone's asleep and it's just so much more peaceful. So that's why it's night and I'm literally sitting here filming this. Also, I just wanted to get this intro up because by the time you guys see me, my hair is going to be drenched because I do jump in the shower at 10 every night and it's currently 930. So I'm about to jump into the shower, but I hope you guys stay till the very end because that would mean the world to me. And let's go ahead and get straight on into the video. So... I'm already having technical difficulties. My mom just jumped in the shower. So I'm just going to show you guys basically what my first final is. Um, and then I literally just opened up an email that three of my classes for next semester got canceled because of the whole coronavirus. And we just don't know where the state of the world is going to be back in August. And I'm just super bummed out because I did change my major. I am now a child development major and I have 100% fallen, fallen in love with, you know, that degree, that major. And I'm just very sad that it has come to this. But I just keep telling myself that everything happens for a reason. And I am trying to stick to that. But it's just hard when, like, I just feel like my whole college life is, like, falling apart. But with that being said, I'm going to show you guys what my first final is. I'm kind of done already. It's not due till Sunday, but I'm not going to submit it till probably like Friday or so. But I personally think this final was super not worthless, but you'll, you'll just see what I mean. Okay, so basically this, um, this page right here is what my final needs to be and as you can see right there it basically talks about um like my final lesson plan and then the presentation so this final is worth 40 points like how it just says up here so it is half a lesson plan and then half a presentation which i'm super happy it's not a test but the only reason why i find this kind of um pointless because I'm having to have a whole presentation to just answer these three questions. So, I mean, I feel like I could have just, you know, written a page about that, not like an entire presentation. But it is what it is. Like how I said, I'm just happy. I'm just happy it's not a test because I am a terrible test taker. So, I'm just thankful it wasn't a test. I cannot stress that enough. And right now, my grade in my class is literally an 89.55 so if I get that to an A fingers crossed I will end the semester with the 4.0 and my grades have actually been really good ever since we went like 100% online with our school my grades were actually just a straight B like a B average before this whole quarantine happened and now I'm really close to a 4.0 to end the semester and I am extremely proud of myself because I know this adjustment has not been easy on everyone across the country so i'm just very happy about that but this is basically my final lesson plan that i have to do like how i said i'm an early education major so i am having to create many lesson plans because i do plan to be a teacher with my major with my degree so that is just what it looks like and then for my um presentation it is also very simple because it is three questions. I decided to put each question on a different slide. So this is why I just have the, these three right here. I also completely forgot that it does have to go on a Word document and I have to figure out how to incorporate my voice. Like I still need to narrate, narrate it 
and I have no I had to do that I actually had another assignment that I had to record my voiceover and I had no idea how to do that so I kid you not I turned it in without that part so I know that I am not going to get a perfect score on, on that particular assignment it was worth 50 points but I know I didn't get like the full 50 points unfortunately um but I because this is a final I definitely do want to find out how to do this so I am gonna have to do it on Microsoft PowerPoint so I just hope I'm able to do that and I'm gonna try to figure it out and if I figure it out I'll definitely let you guys know so let me get back to this <laughs> So I was able to actually put my voice on the presentation. I'm not sure if it would work the same with Google Docs or with Google Drive, but I was able to do it with Microsoft Word. So once you're on this screen, then you would go to the slideshow and then you can practice recording your presentation and I believe you can do that with rehearse timings. However, I didn't do that only because I just felt like it wasn't necessary. I pretty much was just reading off the bullet points for my presentation. So you would just go to record slideshow and because I already recorded mine, I don't want to do it again. But when you are ready to hear it, you would be able to go to view the presentation Final presentation and then uh, for child development three that it is that is when you should start to hear your voice and and when you change the slide it should your recording voice should follow through with it so I'm gonna show you guys what I mean so I'm gonna show you what I mean so you would play from the start and then so the reason for this activity I decided to and my learning experience Overall, would I change anything? So once that is done, then pretty much your voice saved on to the presentation. And then that is how I figured it out to do it. So that's how I'm going to turn it in. So once that is turned in, I'm probably going to email my professor and I'm going to ask her if she's able to hear it from her end. Hopefully she's able to help me because if she is, then I can resubmit it so i hope that's how it works so that's just how i figured out how to do it Hey guys, so it is currently the next day, whatever you want to call it. It is actually noon already. It is at 12.22 and I actually woke up at 10.30, but I stayed in bed for a really long time. Yesterday I fell asleep like around 1, which for me is extremely early. Like I know I mentioned earlier in the video that I usually sleep like around 3 3 30 at night but i was just so so exhausted and i was still very exhausted this morning so i stayed in bed for quite some time but i know i also mentioned that i normally don't do homework during the day which that is going to change just for like this whole final portion of the video because i actually have a final that is due tuesday it is a six page paper and i don't know why but i thought it was due for another two weeks this whole quarantine literally makes me forget which day we're like what the day is so that is going to change but I also do work from home I am an after school program teacher so I just thought I would go ahead and show you a little bit of what I do so yeah I just thought I would go ahead and mention that but I'm actually in my car right now because my old co-worker actually bakes all these goodies and I placed an order with her yesterday because I really wanted to be supportive of her like little like small business so that is what I'm gonna go do I need to go take money out from the bank and then I'm gonna go and let's see how this day is run 
So I know the lighting is super terrible. I actually don't have my light on right now, but it is 2.41 and I'm going to start working from home. I timed in at 2.15, but the beauty of working from home is that there's no one to see, no one to know, works for me. So when I'm working from home, every day my site leads will send an email of the things that I need to do today. So for today, it just kind of looks like I need to make a video, which is super fine because I'm not going to do that till tomorrow because that's when it's due. So I'm actually going to be creating lesson plans. And um, th this is how the lesson plans for my work look like. They're They're simple. But I prefer a simple way where I can put everything and it just looks clear. So this is what they look like. So there's really a glare in my glasses, but that's what I'm going to be doing. And my I have to complete a 3.75 hour shift every day. So at the end of the week, I complete about 20 hours. And um, yeah, that is exactly what I'm going to do for my shift. So I'll give you guys an update in a little bit. And sometimes it is overwhelming because a lesson plan can take up to one hour to complete because you just have to, you know, research it. And then a lot of times you want to find videos on YouTube um, to see the outcome of the activity. So it is so much more than just sitting down and making things up along the way. And I really wanted to mention was that lesson planning come with so much more backup research so because i am working from home we do zoom call our students so we started this was technically week one and next week is going to be week two so i'm going to be in charge of like a wellness and nutrition so i need to come up well i actually already made a lesson plan for that one and then for week three um the quality is so bad i'm so sorry but i have to do an emotional and learning activity so because i don't know much about this i need to do a lot of research and go on pinterest and look at different websites guys it is a brand new day and i know that this video was supposed to be um like a college final edition video and this video has just been everywhere i didn't do homework last night because i just felt like i was way too exhausted and if i'm to a certain point where i'm way too tired i just won't do homework because i know that i'm not gonna put in the effort that i wish i could have put so I just decided to not do any homework and it is currently 4 in the afternoon and I drove 35 minutes away from my house to a Dutch Bros location because I've actually been craving um, a Rebel for quite some time. Okay, I don't know what the fuck this car's doing and I'm getting really awkward. And um, I don't know what this car's doing. So yeah, I know that Dutch isn't at every state from what I know. It's like in Washington, California, Colorado, um, and possibly Utah. I'm not too sure, but they have amazing drinks. It's a lot of people like to compare Starbucks and Dutch, but I just feel like they have a lot more stuff on their menu than Starbucks does. So the nearest one is 35 minutes away from my house because it's not in my city. It's in, like in the county, like the head county, the main county and yeah i just decided i would come treat myself and it is friday and because we are in quarantine for the lines are just so much more longer but for it being a friday it's relatively short i'm surprised usually it's like down the street um on the other side of like the location it's a it's like crazy and i'm actually pretty close up for it being a friday but at the same time i feel like because it's friday people are just gonna come at night and i feel like my hair looks like shit today um, it always looks better in, the, in like the mirror than it does on camera. So one of them is lying to me. 
but yeah i'm gonna definitely um give you guys an update when i get my drink i want to record myself like getting my drink so you guys can see how it is um but it isn't like a starbucks where like you order to drive through a person like comes up to you with the tablet and you pay there so i'm gonna see how i'll do that but i'll definitely give you guys an update dutch locations are actually like this where it's just drive through so as you can see this is just drive through and then the line would go all the way around and there is a person taking your order but i have no idea where she's at so yeah that's just kind of how they look like Hello. hi do you have a name for the order kate kate what are we having today kate could i have a medium uh marmalade rebel please and can i get that blended sure medium blended marm all right anything else no that'll be it comes out to 580 and then go ahead and swipe that for me please same thing happened to her up there um, I think it's just like I have to go in and back out and go go back in okay. so it should probably work now yeah see it's reading go ahead and try that again uh, I know it's a little yeah. when you try that again I'll hold it okay. sorry if that hurt you no you're fine okay any tip today um no no tip and then we're gonna do an x for the signature okay okay thank you you're welcome have a good one you too okay so if you guys heard okay i'm just like so annoying because this is supposed to be a finals edition video but i'm clearly not even filming that right now but they asked if i wanted to tip and you have the option to tip and i said no because about two or three weeks ago my mom let me come with my siblings and she, my mom actually gave me her card and was like, hey, like, you know, you should go take the kids out just so they're at home. And here's my card. So I was like, all right, cool. I'm like, and I did. But I was so upset because when they asked for a tip, I said no, because when it was my mom's card too, I didn't know she was going to want me to tip. So I told them no. So when my siblings were here, our total came out to like $27 or so. When my mom checked her balance at our, like, once I was home and all that, she, like, called, um, you know, to verify her balance. And I kid you not, they ended up taking $35 away altogether. So, I said no tip, yet the girl still tipped herself $8. And I would, like, my mom wasn't upset. I was just kind of annoyed because I was like, wow, that kind of just breaks, like, the trust that you give your customers. Um, so, I ended up coming seven days exactly after that happened which obviously is a week and i told her um i was like hey i don't mean to sound like a bitch um and once again i had my mom's card because she probably was like you know it was by accident take the kids out again because it was a weekend so she let me come she let me bring my brothers and i told the same girl i was like hey i don't mean to be a bitch but i said no tip last time and the girl ended up tipping herself eight dollars and i just find that kind of annoying because it was my mom's card and all of that and she's like girl don't even worry i'm so sorry that even happened to you so i'm just kind of annoyed that that girl like tipped herself like that amount of money because i don't know if it's like this in oh man i don't know if it's like this in every location but if you tip them they the people like getting the tablets keep the money so i was just kind of upset so i said no tip don't think i'm tipping just because i don't want to tip i was like actually very upset and i like how i said i just feel like you're breaking that trust that you have with customers but whatever whatever Hey guys so the last the last clip you guys saw from me i was working on my essay in the day it is now 1 40 in the morning and i've literally just been cranking out as much information as i could from my essay i looked back on my paper and i just didn't like the way it came out so i literally started it all over and that's just what i've been doing since the last clip that you guys saw why are cars racing down my street okay whatever so i was just finding a bunch of uh, more research and all of that kind of good stuff so that is just basically what i've been doing and that's what i'm going to continue to keep doing for the rest of the night so enjoy these next clips 
so i'm gonna try to crank out another page before i go to bed like i mentioned a couple clips ago that this paper is due on tuesday and it is friday well technically it's saturday already but i'm just gonna try to crank out as much as i could because i don't want to leave it all to like monday night so now you can enjoy the rest of these clips so it's obviously a new night or a new evening or whatever you want to call it and pretty much for the past for the past couple hours i've been working on my english paper i know that i mentioned yesterday that i basically just restarted my whole paper and i've just been working on it because i need that paper to be like an a plus amount of work especially because it is a final paper and two papers ago no my last paper I didn't get an amazing grade I still got a passing grade but it wasn't like I just could have done so much more better so I'm definitely gonna try to get this as best as I could and I decided that I would go ahead and turn in my final for one of my child development classes that is due Sunday at midnight so I'm about to turn in my final for one of my child development classes <sighs> Oh my god, honestly, I'm kind of sad just like having to like turn this in because it's just like so crazy. So I'm gonna turn it in and I'm very sad to have to do this. I don't know why it took forever to submit, but I'm so proud of myself for submitting my final project i'm just so okay i should take this off i am just so proud of myself for submitting my final for one of my child development classes i'm officially done with that class and it just sounds so bizarre to even say because it's the semester just flew by i remember my first day of the semester like it was yesterday and it's crazy Hey guys, so I'm giving you guys another update. It is currently 11.23 at night and I jumped in the shower and I'm going to start my last quiz that I have for my other child development class. She did mention that we weren't going to have an actual final, just a quiz and I've been having basically like weekly quizzes for her class so she says that's just the way she wanted to end the semester for her class, which I'm not complaining at all. But I'm currently working on it right now and I'm going through it and there's only 10 questions and it is worth, I want to say, I don't even know how much it's worth. Um, but this is just what I'm going to be doing for the next couple of minutes. It is only 10 questions and if I'm being quite honest, a lot of them is just common sense. So I'll definitely let you guys know how I do. So let's go so i'm honestly kind of annoyed right now because this is this is why you should just check canvas every day so i ended up logging on to canvas and i saw that i have a part of another final for one of my other child development classes due tomorrow at midnight and it's well i mean i probably shouldn't be complaining about it because again it isn't a test but i need to find definitions for like 50 words and that's going to be so much already it is currently 11 45 so so it's almost midnight so i would just focus on my english paper which i should have put 100 percent of my focus on even though because i still have a couple more days to do that but as of right now i'm currently going to go ahead to my kitchen table and just crank out as much definitions that i could well i want to do at least half tonight and then i can do the other half tomorrow in the day if i'm like that tired but obviously if i'm able to crank everything out right now then i definitely will but 
this is what I get for for not checking canvas this is this is what I get The next day and it is currently about to be one in the afternoon it's about 1 50 or so and obviously it's super rare when i do homework throughout the day as you guys have noticed but i'm actually going to be completing um the definitions assignment that i had to do that i was working on last night i didn't finish it if i'm being completely honest i was actually on the phone with my friend for about two hours last night I honestly regret it. I shouldn't have talked to her on the phone knowing I had a bunch of homework due. But I'm just going to turn that in because it is due today at midnight. Well, at midnight, it's due at 11.55 or so. So I'm just going to go ahead and just start working on it. So I'm not, you know, doing it like at 8 p.m. Or I'm going to try to not get to that extent. So that is why I'm actually doing homework a little bit early today. So I'm not super just late on that whole assignment and the past times you guys have seen me i've just been wearing like the same t-shirts because they're both pajamas but i decided to do my hair to wear a tank top and then a cardigan and that's my outfit for today hey guys so it is now currently 6 50 and i know i look completely washed out i literally just finished the last section of my final that i needed to do it is due today at midnight and i basically took all afternoon to do it because i just wanted it to be right i cannot stress out enough so i'm now going to be turning that in and i just thought i would go ahead and let you guys know because once this final is submitted i'm completely done with my child development three class and i'm just this is just like so bizarre because i know i mentioned this earlier in the video but it's so crazy that i'm already done with the semester because i literally remember my first day like it was yesterday but with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and turn it in after i'm done i'm gonna stay off my laptop for a couple hours because i was on my laptop pretty much all day i do have a kind of a headache like it's you know i just need to lay off the screens for a little bit so that is exactly what i'm gonna do but i just wanted to give you guys an update hey guys so i know i have not talked to you guys all day today i have literally been just cranking out my last final assignments i actually had my paper that my english paper that you guys knew about it is actually due tomorrow but i finished it a day early and i am so proud of myself because i was expecting to work on it all day tomorrow as well and then i had a test for one of my other child development classes and i actually finished that and i got a hundred percent on it and I literally am just so happy to be over with this set, with this semester. It is so crazy and I'm incredibly proud of myself that I was able to handle the transition from going, you know, to school every single day and then going to, you know, online schooling without even getting the chance to take it all in. And I did amazing this semester and I'm so, so, so proud of myself that I just wanted to show you guys that I'm going to be handing in my last assignments of the semester and it could and I can honestly say it feels amazing I'm so 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 proud of myself so yeah that's why I came here and I you know decided to update you guys um my last day of the semester was technically supposed to be yesterday because you know I just had assignments that I thought I was going to finish up till that point but I'm done a day early and a day early is a day early so I'm going to be just handing in my annotated bibliography and my final paper and it just feels so good to say like I'm literally going to treat myself tomorrow to like Starbucks or something but yeah I just wanted to let you guys know and let's go turn in my next assignments. <laughs> That 
concludes today's video i really hope you guys like videos like this because i really want to keep filming them but i really hope you guys subscribe so you guys are able to see that content i'm actually doing online classes in about a month for summer school and i would really hope you guys would subscribe so you guys can see those videos yourself but i want to appreciate you guys so much if you guys stayed till the very end that truly means a lot to me but that's all i wanted to say once again and i really hope you guys subscribe and i hope to see you guys next time bye